These so-called progressives did a very simple thing that apparently uh, can appear to be brave in Washington these days. In that letter to President Biden, they just told the truth about how this ongoing proxy war with Russia is increasing in cost and consequences, both on the Ukrainian people, but also the American people here at home and how it's negatively impacting gas prices, increasing inflation, and so on. Uh, you know, the, these progressives in the letter, they didn't say stop sending aid to Ukraine now. All they said was, hey, President Biden, engage in diplomacy. Uh, and the response they got, of course, from the warmongers who control the Democrat Party in Washington was to immediately be smashed to pieces, so much so that these Democrat members of Congress cowered in the corner with fear and now have gone so far out of their way apologizing profusely for having the audacity to call for diplomacy in this war that's putting us all at risk. And now they're, they've actually gone 180 degrees in the opposite direction. They're now trying to prove how much of, a, of warmongers they too are by saying, no, don't engage in diplomacy. We don't want you to do that. Uh, th this is exactly, Tucker, one of the main reasons I left the Democrat Party. They are completely controlled by these warmongers in Washington. They don't really care about the Ukrainian people. Otherwise, they would have engaged in of diplomacy course. many, many months ago. They don't really care about the American people who are struggling uh, just, to, just to make ends meet, struggling with inflation, struggling with increasing costs of just about everything. And it just shows who they are subservient to, the military industrial complex and the war hawks in the Democrat Party and the mainstream media. I mean, that's why they basically kicked you out of the party, because you said, well, maybe we shouldn't bomb all the Christians in Syria. Maybe there's another way. No, that was like, this is their red line. It's war. Why is that? And did you know that when you went into Congress? No, uh, the, the Democrats that I saw, the Democrats uh, leaders that I saw were people who took a stand for peace, who people uh, like my former boss, uh, Senator Akaka from Hawaii, he had served during World War II. He understood the cost of war to see how so completely where even these so-called progressives, you know, they claimed in the past at least to be the champions for peace, to be people who understood that in order to be prosperous and free, we must be at peace. Now, that's still true. We still cannot achieve prosperity and freedom unless we have peace. But now everyone in the Democrat Party and the leadership in Washington is walking in lockstep as war hawks. No one daring to even step outside the line and say, hey, diplomacy, let's exercise diplomacy. What cowards, what cowards they are. Tulsi Gabbard, I appreciate your coming yeah. on, as always. Thank you, Tucker.